Vaping started in our school like it did every other school and what we decided, what I decided to do was to put it out to the community because I can't fix this on my own if I can fix it at all. Uh, so I initially started getting a community group together and that's what we've been working on. So we ran a community meeting and we had 75 people turn up including a few students or young people. So we named it Escape the Vape. Um, we wanted something trendy and it just sort of popped up to us. We've just developed a parent pack to give to parents um, because what I'm finding is that parents are discovering that their children might be involved in either buying, selling or using the vapes and not knowing what to do and coming from that punitive approach of taking everything off them. And I'm certainly not an expert in vaping, but my experience in education has been that doesn't work. So we've employed a, a drug, alcohol and vape counsellor and she comes in one day a week and on re-entry the students have to sign up for three sessions with her. You know, there's definitely been a reduction. I'm not saying it's not there, but there's certainly been a reduction from that. But my major role is about students and their families so when I do have a family come in it would you know this is a pack that we can give them I don't know whether everything in that pack is absolutely you know the best out there but it's the best that we've found but uh, I'd like to see this spread out amongst all schools in South Australia I'm happy to share anything at any time so yeah it's a journey and we're getting there.